Welcome to Dank and Dark, the high horror geek show where horror gets high and geek culture takes a twisted turn. I'm your host, Brian Brown from the DailyDank.com, the horror obsessed, movie loving cannabis connoisseur you've been waiting for. Today, I'm thrilled to kick off our very first episode by diving into the movie that made me fall in love with both horror and film, the original Frankenstein from 1931. This classic didn't just give me the chills, it ignited my passion for filmmaking. But that's not all, folks. We've got even more spine-tingling content lined up. We'll be reviewing a cannabis strain that's perfect for pairing with Frankenstein, Frankenstein OG. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Plus, since it's November and Thanksgiving is right around the corner, we're going to dig into some killer Thanksgiving-themed movies to watch this holiday season. And to round things off, I've got the ultimate munchies list that'll make your Thanksgiving feast even more epic. So stick around, grab your favorite strain, and let's get this horror show rolling. There's something so special about the first horror movie that hooks you in, right? For me, that movie was the original Frankenstein from 1931. This isn't just any monster flick. It's a masterpiece directed by the legendary James Whale. The film explores the delicate dance of life, death, and the power to create themes that resonated with me on such a deep level that it was almost spooky. First off, the atmosphere, the tension, Whale's use of shadows and silence created an eerie ambiance that you could practically cut with a knife. I remember watching it for the first time and being completely captivated. This was no ordinary movie experience. It was like having a front row seat to a symphony of chills. The film wasn't just about a monster. It was about ambition, defiance of nature, and the terrifying consequences of playing God. All concepts that make your mind spin and your heart race. The first time I saw Frankenstein, it clicked something in my brain. I realized I wanted to be a filmmaker. Here was this guy, Dr. Frankenstein, bringing characters to life. Sure, his way involved more electricity and fewer ethics, but you get what I'm saying. Creating stories, evoking emotions, making people think. That was the dream. Less torches and pitchforks, though. So there you have it. Frankenstein isn't just a film. It's the birth of my horror passion and the spark that lit my path toward filmmaking. And if you haven't seen it yet, what are you doing? Seriously, grab some popcorn, turn off the lights, and prepare to get hooked. Ah, but first, let's talk about a cannabis strain that pairs perfectly with this monster of a film. Stay tuned. All right, folks, let's talk about a strain that'll elevate your viewing experience to monstrous new heights. Frankenstein OG. Yup, you heard it right. If you're going to watch a film as iconic as Frankenstein, why not pair it with a strain named after the big guy himself? It's like fine wine and cheese, but for us horror-loving cannabis aficionados. So what makes Frankenstein OG the perfect pairing for this classic horror masterpiece? For starters, it's an indica dominant strain, which means you're in for a heavy body melting couch lock kind of high. You know, the kind that makes you sink into your seat and get lost in the eerie vibes of 1930s horror. It's precisely what you need when you want to be absolutely glued to those suspenseful, shadowy scenes. Let's talk flavor. Frankenstein OG has an earthy taste with hints of pine and just a touch of skunk. Imagine sitting in an old, creaky mansion surrounded by thick woods. That's the kind of atmosphere this strain conjures up. It's dark, it's immersive, and it fits like a glove with the gloomy, chilling ambiance of Frankenstein. Now on to the effects. This strain is known for its deep relaxation and euphoria. 
Picture this. You're hit with a wave of calm, washing away your stress and replacing it with a sense of serene euphoria. Sounds great, right? And that's not all. Frankenstein OG also brings a sense of calm that's perfect for late night horror marathons when you just want to tune out the real world and get lost in the shadows on screen. So there you have it. Frankenstein OG is not just a strain. It's an experience. It's the secret ingredient to making your Frankenstein viewing party unforgettable. Trust me, once you try it, you'll wonder how you ever watched horror films without it. Stay tuned, because up next, we're diving into some killer Thanksgiving-themed movies to keep your holiday season spooky and fun. All right, horror lovers and cannabis connoisseurs, let's talk about that unique overlap we get in November, the merging of horror and holiday spirit. You might be thinking, Thanksgiving isn't exactly known for its horror flicks, but trust me, there are some real gems out there that'll keep your spine tingling while you're waiting for that turkey to roast. First up on our list is Blood Rage from 1987. If you're in the mood for a slasher flick with a Thanksgiving twist, this one's perfect. It's gory, it's wild, and it serves up that 80s horror charm that pairs deliciously with any feast. Just imagine carving the turkey as you watch the, well, let's say more extreme version of carving unfold on screen. Next, we've got Adam's Family Values from 1993. Now, I know what you're thinking. This one's more comedy than horror, but hear me out. This movie has some deliciously dark humor that makes it a must watch for Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving play scene alone is worth the rewatch. Plus, it's a family-friendly way to sneak a little dark humor into the holiday for something a bit more intense. We've got Hannibal from 2001. All right, this one isn't Thanksgiving theme per se, but it's got a dinner scene that'll make you seriously rethink what's on your plate. Perfect for those of us who prefer our holiday fare with a side of psychological thrills. Finally, let's not forget Planes, Trains, and Automobiles from 1987. While not a horror movie, this Thanksgiving classic captures the chaos of family gatherings and holiday travel in a way that'll make you grateful you're watching it from the comfort of your couch. Because, let's be real, nothing is scarier than getting stranded with a stranger during the holiday season. So there you have it. Four fantastic films to spice up your Thanksgiving with a dark twist. Whether you're in the mood for some classic slasher gore, a bit of dark humor, intense psychological thrills, or the chaotic comedy of holiday travel, we've got you covered. Stick around because coming up next, we're diving into the best Thanksgiving munchies to go with your horror movie marathon. All right, horror fans and munchy maniacs, it's time to dive into one of my absolute favorite topics, Thanksgiving munchies. Because let's face it, food is basically the highlight of Thanksgiving. And when you've got a serious case of the munchies, oh man, it's a match made in heaven. Whether you're planning to tuck into a full Thanksgiving feast or just need some epic snacks to get you through your horror movie marathon, I've got the ultimate lineup for you. First on the list are stuffing bites. These bite-sized balls of stuffing baked until crispy and then dipped in gravy are completely addictive. Trust me, once you pop one of these bad boys in your mouth, there's no turning back. They're easy to make, delicious, and perfect for snacking in between scenes of cinematic terror. Next up, Sweet potato fries with marshmallow dip. If that doesn't make your mouth water, I don't know what will. It's the perfect mix of sweet and salty. And that gooey marshmallow dip, absolute perfection. It's like having dessert without having to wait for the end of the meal. 
These fries are a crowd pleaser and will definitely take your snack game to the next level. And who could forget mac and cheese bites? Bite-sized, cheesy, and oh-so-satisfying. Seriously, these little nuggets of joy are guaranteed to be a hit with everyone. Imagine the creamy, cheesy goodness of a mac and cheese casserole, but in a portable, crunchy snack form. Pop these in your mouth and thank me later. All right, let's sweeten things up a bit with a pumpkin pie milkshake. Yeah, you heard me right. Blend some vanilla ice cream with pumpkin pie filling. Add a little whipped cream on top and you've got yourself a dessert in a glass. It's like drinking a slice of pie, but way more fun and perfectly holiday themed. And for those of you looking to keep things a little elevated, how about some cranberry infused cannabis gummies? These festive treats are discreet and oh so tasty. They're perfect for getting into the holiday spirit without making everyone around you a little too curious about what you're munching on. So there you have it, my friends. These Thanksgiving munchies are guaranteed to elevate your holiday experience, whether you're snacking solo or sharing with friends. Get ready to dig in because your taste buds are in for a treat. Stick around because we've still got more coming up on Dank and Dark, the high horror geek show. All right, folks, that wraps up our very first episode of Dank and Dark, the high horror geek show. We've journeyed through the creepy corridors of classic cinema with Frankenstein, chilled out with the perfect strain, Frankenstein OG, and even found time to spike our Thanksgiving spirit with horror and munchies. What a ride, huh? Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better start. To quickly recap, we delved into how the 1931 film Frankenstein sparked my passion for horror and filmmaking. Seriously, if you haven't watched it yet, what are you even doing? Then we lit up the mood with Frankenstein OG, a strain that's practically a companion piece to the film itself. We also took a twisted turn into Thanksgiving with some killer films that'll make your holiday season a bit more festive. And last but certainly not least, we thoroughly indulged our munchies with an epic list of Thanksgiving treats perfect for any horror geek. Be sure to join us next time as we dive even deeper into the dark corners of horror, geek culture, and cannabis. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single episode and hey, if you got any specific topics or films you'd love for us to cover, send me a message. Let's keep this horrifyingly delightful conversation going. Until then, stay high, stay spooky, and keep those munchies close. This is Brian Brown signing off. Check the show notes for any links or articles mentioned in today's episode. And thanks for tuning in to Dank and Dark, the high horror geek show. Catch you next time. And don't forget to hit up thedailydank.com for even more dank content.